Hello viewer, you are welcome on this channel where we reach out to you with the word of faith and hope through teachings and some ministration. God is in the business of changing people's lives from poverty to riches, from lack to a lot of abundance, from sickness to divine health, from shame to honor. And it is your time to experience such dramatic change today. In the name of Jesus. We begun on a teaching series captioned Engaging the Mystery of Faith and Hope in life situations, thereby turning them into testimonies, the desired testimonies. The world we live in is established on the principle of spirituality. The things we see with our physical eyes, they have their source rooted in the spiritual realm, in the spiritual realm. So therefore, it requires engaging the spiritual authority we have in Christ to take charge and take control of our lives and the happenings in our lives. I said in the last video that I will be sharing with us the testimony of a little boy. Blair was born without any physical years attached to his head. When the doctor that took delivery of this child was pressed for his opinion about the situation. He admitted that the boy, this boy child, might be deaf and mute for life. But the father, being a man of faith, chose to disagree with the doctor's opinion, but which he did quite secretly. In his mind, he made a determination that this boy is going to live a normal life. He's going to live a normal life. What are the things he did? All right. His father decided not a son would hear and speak. This became a very strong desire in his heart, which brought a very strong hope, a very strong expectation that a son will live a normal life like every other children. He said in his word that life could offer him a child without hair, but couldn't induce him to accept the reality of the affliction. He never receded from a strong expectation for Blair as he was growing up with this affliction. He told himself there must be a way out. Hey, you mean there must be a way out for a child that was born without any physical ear attached to his head? How are you going to do it? The man was a man of faith. His father made a pledge and renewed this pledge every day that he would fill this child's mind so completely with a desire to hear until it was translated into physical reality. He said he noticed something, having continued speaking a word into this child's mind continuously. He said he observed he had developed a slight degree of hearing. So as he grew older, the capacity increased. Isn't that a testimony? The capacity increased, but he never took a break. Every night, he ensures he speaks into the child's mind. Now, this man wasn't a pastor, but he understood the power of sound, the power of positive words. He continues speaking word of possibility into this child's mind. He, he continues speaking the word of power into this child's mind. And he began, as he was growing older, he too began to you know, respond. The spirit man began to respond. To word of possibility. But during the process, he said fruitfully, the outlook was not that encouraging. But faith knows nothing like impossibility. He continued. He never relented. Let's father wouldn't even allow him to go to the school for the deaf. He wouldn't even allow him to learn sign languages. But determined that his son will live a normal life like every other children. He went through the primary, the secondary, the college without the ability to hear teachers. But something happened when he was about finishing his college. In the last week, it was reported that a hearing aid was brought to this boy just on trial. So having tried so many of them and failed, he reluctantly used this one. Now, on placing it upon his head, he discovered that something has happened to him. He could hear very clearly and with a joy in his heart, he jumped to the phone booth, pick up the phone, call the mother 
and something again happened. He could speak. He called the mother, and he could hear the sounds of a mother very clearly. Just in the twinkling of an eye, what a miraculous God we said. So this journey took 18 years from the birth of this child to the moment the miracle happened. That is what faith does to a man of hope. Faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And it shall decree a thing that shall be established unto you. For whosoever shall believe shall see the glory of the Lord. Our hope comes alive when we enforce it with faith. Our expectations can only see the light of the day when we have built up faith that can never fail. You too can convert your strong desire into a hope that must come to reality by enforcing it with faith, enthusiasm, increasing joy. And before you know it, before long, it will turn to you for a testimony. You are a miracle worker. The power to perform miracle is in you. You are a prophet of your home, if you have known who you are. Psalm 82 verse 6. You are God and the Son of the Most High. That is who you are. He made a determination, and until he saw to it that it came to reality, he never stopped. Whatsoever you have embarked upon, with a strong faith and a, a relentless enthusiasm, you will see them come to reality right before your eyes. Praise the Lord. I know you must have been touched by the story of this little boy, how it was transformed. God is still in the business of changing lives. And He will do yours. He will transform that desire, strong expectations in your heart, into testimony of glory in Jesus' mighty name. Your expectations shall not be cut short. Your hope shall not be dashed in pieces. Your faith will not fail. That is my utmost prayer for you in the name of Jesus. Until next time, when we shall be meeting on this channel again, please stay away from trouble. Trust in God and His Word, and all your desire will come to reality. Jesus loves you, and I love you too. I am my Wayuka. Please subscribe, follow, comment, and I will be happy to give response to every questions you might have in your heart. God bless you.